between 12 and 15 of these. And in the circuit that I'm building, that's plenty. So the next core exercise that we're going to do is called a Sphinx rock, uh, rock overs. One of the big things to remember is to suck the belly up to protect the back. The way we'll start, it's kind of like a Sphinx. So you're gonna start in a plank position with your feet in a TRX or something similar. 90 degrees, palms flat forward, making sure to press through the fingers. And then you're gonna rock yourself forward so that your nose and your chin almost come to your fingertips. And you're gonna rock yourself back until your chin or nose is around your elbow. All right, so let's try it out. And then once you hit 12, when you come back, you're gonna push yourself forward and you're gonna press through the palms, evenly through the palms if, as possible, using your core and you're just gonna push up into a push-up position. And then you're gonna lower yourself back down into that sphinx position as controlled and stable as possible. Do not just collapse into the elbows. The idea is that the hips stay square. So, plank position, belly up, keep yourself kind of square, and then pull through. A boat is basically coming up into this position here. So where your cereal is on your, on your bum, your legs are in the air, legs are straight, quads are engaged, core is engaged. And, when you, and what I wanna do is I wanna raise and lower for 20 to 30 uh, repetitions. So this, is, this would be one. And when I come down, my shoulders are still lifted off the ground, my heels are just above the ground. You're gonna pause and you're gonna come up. That's two. You don't wanna do this, it's not a crunch. We're not doing bicycles. This is more like a via. Really getting these lower abs working. And challenge yourself to go as high as you can and as low as you can during the entire set.